I really feel it's a great privilege to be sharing experiences here. Being the last speaker, uh, I'm at an advantage. Everybody is going to look at the teapots and teacups, tired and not wanting to know more. And fortunately, most of the speakers have said what I wanted to say. So, big advantage indeed. But just to wake you up, I want to bring one very significant point. All the four speakers were talking of vocational training and combining it with educational programs. And I presume when we say education, it is education for all, because it has not been specified so far. <laughs> so I'm going to focus uh, on training for persons with disability. And Dr. Vasnik made my task very easy. He said, just bring some case studies, and that's all. So here, uh, can we go back? Uh, on the cover, you see a boy working on computers with his feet. He lost his upper limbs and never felt defeated. He got a gold medal in our Olympic event, which is an uh, event of uh, vocational skills. Next, please. When we talk of education, we definitely look at education grooming people and making them uh, attain some kind of skill which makes them their livelihood easier. So it's essential to weave vocational training into academic program. It is not necessary to think of it after 15 years of age or 17 years of age. I think vocational training or skill training should start from the beginning, let's say primary level. And it should be with a holistic approach. And that is what I want to share with you all, that right from nursery class, we have had this kind of inclusion at Amar Jyoti, which is a rehabilitation center with uh, inclusive education, all medical care available in the campus, uh, connected with community-based rehabilitation. We have projects in urban slums. Vocational training is a part of our curriculum. Each and every child has to learn one of the vocations that are available. Thanks to NIOS, we have several of them. And we also think of capacity building courses like BSc honors in physiotherapy and teachers training in special education, et cetera, et cetera. And this sub circle of education, skill training and employment is a full circle in itself. And this is what has brought in really laudable results to our approach. Next, please. Uh, I want to talk of a girl, Lakshmi, who came crawling to us at the age of four, was given medical care, and started learning, and she was very, very intelligent. After the eight, she didn't want to leave Amar Jyoti. We have accredited center here, so we allowed her to do 10th and 12th also from our center. And one fine day I noticed, you know, I was going on Vikas Marg in my car and she was given this motorized tricycle. I saw a boy doing this to her and she said, okay, come. She stopped her tricycle, motorized tricycle, gave a lift to the boy and I laughed to myself, okay, I'll pull her leg when I reach uh, Amar Jyoti. And she was a little shy when she saw me getting down the car and she, she was conscious of the fact that Madam has seen me today. I said, Lakshmi, you have a very good choice. So she just blushed and you'll be happy to know that this boy she married after getting training in uh, watch repair unit and beauty culture. She chose to be uh, in beauty culture because she said, 
after marriage i'll be able to continue this vocation at home and with her two children today she is earning a very good amount by running this beauty culture unit at home next please uh as far as an ios is concerned i think it has taken a lead in increasing social awareness through their vt programs to sensitize the society and to provide access to vt programs and ios has made a very special effort to choose what to learn where to learn and how to learn in an inclusive society santosh kumar who is sitting here is our old student uh, i i am happy you are here today uh, he came uh, in kg class in nine, and he's uh, our 1993 batch student he opted for computer operations under vocational skill training as a part of his school curriculum now he is working as a lower division clerk in ministry of commerce and it government of india he couldn't send me his photograph because his scanner was not working <laughs> but i am glad he is here <laughs> next please sorry okay thank you uh, now uh, as far as uh, our partnership is concerned we are probably the oldest partner of nios we have done several programs with nios and uh, there has been really gainful learning because of these uh, flexi programs fazal and nand kishore are two boys who were amongst the first 30 students when we started the school under a tree and uh, after doing the 8th uh, from our our school is only from nursery to 8th because we want uh children to be mainstreamed in regular schools we also have equal number of able and disabled and all disabilities so it's a very unique setup and we want no hostel for them because family therapy is very essential here are these two boys yet they were very naughty in our school when they were young they used to climb easily on the pole and together you can see fazil in his uh, caliper and uh, nand kishore supporting him uh, they they really love to do lot of things apart from uh, studying fazil appropriately became a plumber after taking the training in our uh, center and just now uh, our uh, earlier speaker said plumber is difficult to find than a doctor he got a very nice job in the ministry of defense so you can imagine what skill training can do to a boy and nan kishore who showed interest in art and craft is now uh, married to his schoolmate shabana and is working as an instructor in our art and craft unit next please so this flexibility that we have been talking about since afternoon is what really makes it qualitative you know uh, at specially uh, accredited centers uh, and when we talk of children with disability it is much more effective because there are many children who are developmentally delayed or have hearing impairment or have uh, no vision so for them it is difficult to take the cbse exam 